On January 23, 2002, Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl was kidnapped. In this video, we're going to find out who trapped Danny. Danny had hired a local journalist, Asif Faruqi, to be his fixer, translating and arranging interviews for him. In early January 2002, Danny called Asif and said he wanted to meet a man by the name of Sheikh Jalani. He was allegedly a local facilitator for Richard Reed, the shoe bomber. One day, Faruqi called Pearl to tell him he had found a man who could help him. His name was Arif. Arif arranged for a January 11th meeting at the Akbar International Hotel in Rawalpindi, Pakistan, with a man who claimed to be a Jalani student named Bashir. It was revealed to police that Arif was actually Muhammad Hashim Qadir, a member of a militant Islamic group in Pakistan. He told a contact about an American journalist seeking an interview with Sheikh Jalani. Similarly, it was revealed that the supposed Jalani student was actually Ahmed Omar Saeed Sheikh, a British national of Pakistani origin. Police made a sketch of the man described as Bashir. It's important to note that the police focused on cultural details that the man seems like Punjabi origin. It also noted that he spoke clear Urdu. The sketch included some curious details, such as half-long shoes. Omar was the mastermind behind the Danny kidnapping. In February 2002, Omar admitted to Pakistani authorities that he conceived and organized the kidnapping of Danny Pearl. Danny sent Omar an email in the hopes to obtain this interview. There is something suspicious about the email address to which Danny sent this email. But mashi is a term that often refers to a mischievous person or one who indulges in social activities like troubling people. Being an Urdu term is something that the average American journalist would not pick up on, but is definitely an indication of someone up to no good. Omar Sheikh laid the trap for Danny to come to Karachi. Danny was no cowboy. The month before, he'd written an email. I'm dying to go to Afghanistan, but not really anxious to die.